The last important step you're going to follow is to add the files to your project so that other people, especially the teacher, can access your um, two, the two files that um, we're going to export. Um, one of them is called an AIA file, and that's the App Inventor file. And the way you do that is through an export, and you're going to export the project to an AIA file, and it's going to put it right on your computer. When you put that, you can see it downloaded the file, and then I'm going to um, show in Finder. Then I'm going to make. Then I'm going to make sure that is put on the desktop, so I have access to it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to also that that opens the file up in App Inventor, and so people could change your code right in App Inventor. The other way we want to um, get a copy of that file is we want it as an APK file or a Android executable file or an Android packed up file that would be executable on an Android device. This is the type of file that you would need in order to place your app on the Google Play App Store. So we're also going to build it that way. This one sometimes takes a little longer, um, especially the first time you do it with your app. It will take um, quite some time for it to compile all the files into a usable format, so don't feel bad if it takes a while. But you're going to download those two files to the desktop, and then you're going to have to upload them onto your web page so that other people can access those files. When that process is done, that is also going to be in the Finder. So when you show it on the, or it's going to download it to the bottom of Chrome here. And when you do that, I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my desktop. Now I have the APK and the AIA um, files ready to use. I'm going to just minimize this. I'm going to add those files to the project. I'm going to go to Edit Page, and then I'm going to go to Add Files. When I do that, it's going to open up this Finder, which is going to allow me to add those two files. And I want to add the Hello World AIA file. I'm going to hold the Shift key, and I'm also going to add the Hello World APK file. When I do that, both those files should upload onto my web page and then be available for others to download from my web page and use. Um, it, it's powerful evidence that I can place my portfolio of a working project. Unlike most super user-friendly Google applications, Sites does not automatically save. So make sure you save your work after doing each step in the project. Feel free to hit save often because remember, every time it saves, it gives you one of those version numbers. And you can go back to your old versions to make sure that um, if you make a mistake or you want to change something, it's, it's a very powerful and easy way to make sure everything is the way you'd like it. This looks perfect.